I had moved to Georgia in early 2019. And about six months after moving to Georgia, I had entered into a relationship. And about a year after being in that relationship, we decided to go to the next step of building a house together. Um, at the time, I had some reservations um, just because I was raised in church, but I wasn't really discipled on the importance of obedience. So I went ahead and moved forward with building the house um, with my partner or my significant other at the time. And then we, I ended up finding um, Crosspoint because I wanted to get plugged into a church. So I hopped on Google, found Crosspoint. And of course the Sunday that I joined, they're in the Kingdom Life series and they did a sermon on kingdom marriage. And I just really started to feel convicted um, about my living situation and especially because the person I was with at the time is not a Christian. And so um, I had asked the girls in the women's group I was in to just start praying over the situation because I just really did not have peace in the relationship. And it wasn't even a bad relationship. I just could tell that it was not a relationship that God wanted me to be in. And so I finally worked up the courage to um, leave that relationship. Um, shortly after we had sold the house, um, I had temporarily moved back home for seven months, which is uh, Virginia Beach is where I'm originally from. And so I thought I was gonna stay there because I was like, okay, well, I moved to Georgia, it didn't work out. And so um, at the time I was actually looking to buy a condo in Virginia Beach and I thought I was gonna stay there. And then um, I randomly had someone reach out at my job from corporate and I did not apply anywhere. They just found my LinkedIn account and they ended up offering me a promotion that required me to come back to Georgia. Whenever I came back to Georgia the second time um, and got plugged back into Crosspoint, that's whenever I made the decision to get baptized and become a member at Crosspoint. What enabled me to make the decision to check the baptism box at Next Steps was, I think the Lord was just kind of working in my heart of He is enough and that I'm never going to have true peace in my relationship with Him until I fully surrender everything. Even if it's a relationship or the home I live in or money or whatever it is, it's worth it when you put Jesus first. Even if in the moment you don't have the answers or you're scared or um, you just don't know what the potential outcome is, like when you're faithful to God and you surrender it all, He's faithful to you. 